going somewhere I don't know much about, but gluten-free is going camping. Now, just because I don't really camp does not mean I'm well-read. So I spent quite a bit of time researching um, gluten-free camping, and I feel like I have some really good tips and tricks for you guys to remain gluten-free on your next camping trip. So, um, first off, there's a blog dedicated solely to camping. It is um, glutenfreecamping.blogspot.com. I will link this. It hasn't been updated recently, but it does have a lot of good um, recipes that don't matter, you know, when they were published or not. Um, some strategies. So, first of all, overpack food. What I hear from those people who enjoy camping is that oftentimes they'll get camping and end up wanting to stay an extra day or two um, than they originally planned. So, um, Always pack more food than you need an extra night or two just so you have the opportunity, especially if you're going with friends who aren't gluten free, that you know you don't have to leave just because you don't have extra food with you. So overpack food. Also pack your food well. How you store your food is just as important as the food um, you choose. So make sure your foods are stored tightly in protective coolers and they can survive through different um, kinds of weather, extreme heat, rain. Just think about that. Um, also, bring plenty of snacks. People always do a good job, or most of the time, since um, do a great job planning out their meals, but they don't necessarily do a good job planning out and thinking through snacks. So, um, high protein snacks are always good when you're camping nuts, um, jerky, eggs. And when you take a little adventure away from the campsite, always pack a snack because you really don't know when the next opportunity you'll have to purchase a snack or go back to your um, campsite will be. So always have food on you, but most, you know, celiacs, you go by the rule, that rule anyway. Um, don't skimp on the recipes. Just because you're camping, I think half the fun of camping, from what I hear, I have camped before, just not often is cooking outside, and my memories I do have of camping, it is really, really fun to cook outside, like on a little outdoor grill. So think through some yummy recipes that can be cooked outside and add to the experience of camping. You know, don't, since celiacs spend a lot of time planning their menu anyway, people, also gluten-free individuals, take that time to make something really count when you're out um, camping. And also I found some companies for you to order from. Go Picnic um, is one of them. It's gopicnic.com, and which I've talked about before. And then Trail Food Express, and I had not heard of them, but they came up like as gluten-free camping food, like a big deal. And they have everything from chicken gumbo to bananas foster. I mean, like tons of food. It's all um, very reasonably priced. It's ranging prices range from a dollar and fifty-two cents to seven dollars and fifty-two cents. And they said the food will be good for three years from the date of purchase. So just things to think about. And um, the website is trailfoodexpress.com. But again, I will um, put that in the show notes. And clearly I have to end on the note of s'mores. You know, you have to have s'mores and they need to be gluten-free. So I would go with Kinnikinix, um s'morables, crackers. Aller Energy's marshmallows and some good, fabulous Hershey chocolate that is still gluten free and hopefully will always be. So, um, don't skimp on the s'mores. That's what you eat the whole weekend. I mean, at least you got some s'mores. So, hope everyone's doing well out there. Hope this helped if you're planning a camping trip. Um, thanks so much for watching. As always, it's from Have Not to Have and Gluten Free Dining.